Another look outside off from the Sheehy camera over Hagerstown. A lot of clouds going around. We're not seeing as much blue sky out there. Well, that is helping keep temperatures tampered down a little bit, but my goodness, you get going outside for a while and you'll just notice how humid it really is as we're not losing that humidity factor by any means. But yes, the temperatures have certainly improved. Charlestown, Frederick, 82 degrees. Hagerstown, 81. Martinsburg and Thurmont at 79. And we do have more of those 70s down into northern Virginia, the rest of the eastern panhandle, and through the rest of western Maryland. Check out those dew points, though. Again, maybe the temperatures are lower, but these values certainly are not. We're looking at upper 60s, lower 70s still being those dew point readings. We're not going to see those begin to drop until we get later into the day tomorrow and then eventually by the weekend as well. Now check out some of this activity going on with those showers and storms. They're a little more numerous already off to our west. It's been raining pretty persistently back into the Ohio River Valley. That's on the other side of the Appalachian Mountain chain, however, and back off to the east across the four state region. Well, we've been seeing just some light sprinkles more or less, mostly across western Maryland up into the Laurel Highlands of southern Pennsylvania. Those showers have drifted a bit toward Chambersburg down into Hagerstown and parts of the eastern panhandle, but outside of that activity, it's still relatively quiet, but the chance for additional and steadier showers and storms is there the rest of the day today, and that is all going to be possible because we still have a lot of moisture out there to supply some energy to that development. Now tomorrow, with an actual frontal system making its way in, we're still going to have rainfall chances, but there's a better chance we have heavier rain that stays around throughout the entire day, and that could lead to a couple of localized areas of flash flooding. We'll just have to watch out for where the heaviest rain sets up throughout the day tomorrow. And then as we go into Friday behind all of that, it's going to cool down and finally be a lot nicer, less humid as we get into the weekend. But for now, we're watching where those showers and storms fire up the rest of the day today. And just like yesterday, it's going to be hit or miss, but it looks like Northern Virginia has a much better chance. The models are keying in on a lot of activity to the south while things stay pretty scattered farther to the north. And we're not going to catch a break overnight like we have the last few nights. There's going to be lingering showers all the way into Thursday morning, and that will lead to that extra development tomorrow then with those pockets of heavier rainfall popping up across the four state region. And again, it's those particular slow moving cells that we're going to have to watch out for throughout the entirety of the afternoon, evening, and even into Thursday night, because look at some of these totals again. This is just a model run, but you can see the difference in a few locations like Hagerstown and Thurmont. We could have localized areas way, well over an inch, while others don't really see much rainfall at all, and that's the key. That's why flash flooding is a concern. So to keep up with the latest warnings and everything else going on, download the free WDVM 25 weather app to keep yourself informed. Beyond that, though, 70s Friday and Saturday. There's the improving conditions through the weekend, and next week's not looking too bad at all.